as America's national parks are open free of charge to celebrate Veterans Day. And so Mike Seidel is live for us this morning at the uh, Great Smoky Mountains National Park with more. And Mike, you know, what a great time of year to go because the fall color is beautiful and the sun we saw coming up this morning looks fantastic as well. Yeah, well, unfortunately, if you're coming to this park, the fall color is gone. All the trees have uh, de-leafed. And the ironic thing about this whole weekend is this park is free all the time. We're up here at Newfound Gap, just over 5,000 feet, 27 degrees this morning. The wind chills in the upper teens. And look at the sunrise coming up over the Great Smokies. This is the most visited national park. And last year, just over a quarter billion people visited the parks, the monuments, and the battlefields. One of those is Yosemite. That's the third most popular behind this one in the Grand Canyon. And it's always great to get out there, half, moon, half dome rather. And uh, also Yosemite Falls, especially if you have a lot of snow the previous winter. We're hoping for a lot of snow this winter because they certainly didn't get it last winter. As far as the uh, forecast goes for Yosemite, the valley floor temperatures will be nice and comfy for early to mid-November. Highs in the upper 50s. Tomorrow, Sunday and Monday, and again, and mission waved at all the battlefields, the uh, national parks, right on through uh, Veterans Day. That's tomorrow, Saturday, tomorrow, Sunday, and Monday. Mike and Jen, back to you from the Smokies here at Newfound Gap. I don't know which is more orange, the sky or the trees. It looks phenomenal it, it this morning. It is beautiful, Thank you, Mike. and living up to its name, you get the Smokies back there, and they're very smoky yes. this morning. Oh, cool stuff, that's for sure.